CustomTacticals.com here and today we're looking at a uh, Spyderco Navigator. Um, this is a discontinued model I believe. Um, Spyderco does re, uh, like, do uh, re-releases and stuff like that and partial re-releases and um, that sort of thing so I can't be sure if this is actually discontinued or not but um, last I knew it was. Uh, I also have one of these in a G10, but uh, this is the uh, what I feel is a nicer uh, all mic coated aluminum version of the Navigator. Uh, like most of the Spyderco knives in the classic series of of knives, like the Endura and Delica, this this Navigator is a um, a lock back, no David Boy dent, as it's an older model. But it's still new enough that it has the VG10 steel. Made in Seiki City, Japan. Most of the uh, VG10 steel uh, Spyderco's are made in Seiki City. Nice vented Elmite aluminum handles. And they sort of have a blue color to them. Uh, I'm not sure if you can tell. Um, it's almost like the bl uh, the blue lum uh, Chinese folder, but not quite. This folder is pinned construction, uh, like most of the budget um, Spydercos, but uh, has has uh, a lot more solid of a feel because of the because of the aluminum handles. The Navigator has the same type of grind that the uh, Endura and Delica series have, um, the short hollow grind, but it still takes a really good edge and it cuts like really like cuts really really well. Um, the VG10 steel helps. Fairly thin blade. Um, the blade on this one is about an inch and a half long. Pocket clip is positioned for tip down carry not adjustable. As you can see the there's sort of a dimpling here for all the fingers. Um, the first one lets you choke up a little bit on the blade and uh, of course you got the typical thumb ramp that you get with most Spydercos due to the geometry of the blade because of the Spyderco holes. So it fits pretty good and your pinky fits right into here so you can choke up and do some work with it. This is one of my favorite um, uh, uh, EDC knives when I want something small from, from Spyderco. It's, it's very uh, short and it's not, it's pretty sheeple friendly so you can whip it out and people don't think much of it because there's only about an inch and a half of blade. Uh, but the wide blade like the Salsa and uh, Dragonfly, um, it, it allows you to have a it allows you to sort of make cut stuff that you wouldn't normally be able to cut with a blade this short. For example, if you take a Swiss Army knife with a blade that's the same length but it's only about this big, it feels a lot smaller than a blade like this because of the the sort of the wider profile. Um, you can really get in there and, and cut stuff. It also helps you guide your cut so it's a little bit straighter. So here it is, the uh, Spyderco Navigator. I hope you enjoy the review. Have a good one.